Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here then welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be going back to my try on haul roots and that means we're testing out swimwear. So today we're going to be trying the brand Escape Swimwear. Before I get into the video I do just want to read the message that they want their customers to see as well just because I do think it is a positive message. So it says to introduce Escape Swimwear they created this line as a form of accessory for women to feel comfortable, beautiful, and confident in. So many women are eager to judge themselves or be resistant to wearing a bikini, but we want to encourage this, that showing off our stretch marks and curves is beautiful since they are part of us. So I just thought that that was a really good message. And with that being said, let's get into the swimwear. So the first piece that we're going to be trying is called the Isabel Set. And I got it in a size small. Oh my gosh, I love this. Inside the swimsuit, it says, every body is a bikini body. Cute. All right, so the first set is the Isabel set. It is in this really beautiful satiny material that has this really pretty sheen. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. And it does come with cup pads. They are not removable, um, but it also does have adjustable straps and then the back closure is actually a really nice closure because it's the one that you can do by yourself behind you so it's just like super easy in out and click um, but it's a lot easier to do that up without looking the bottoms are not adjustable they are just these basic black bottoms in the same material as the top these ones definitely have a lot less coverage than the next swimsuit I'm going to show you guys. So let's go put on our Isabel set. All right, so this is the Isabel set. It definitely has very little coverage. So if you aren't comfortable with this amount of skin showing, they do have other options. But I am totally comfortable in this. Like I was saying, straps are adjustable. Cup pads are in, but they are not removable, and then the bottoms don't have anything for adjustment, so just make sure to double check your sizing. I did have to get a small just because I need a small to fit the lower half of my body, but I could have went to a medium for my boobs. Um, it definitely is small in the chest area, but I kind of knew that going in. They are very cheeky. But I do actually really like this and this top, even though it is on the smaller side for me, it does still feel very supportive. Like I don't feel like I'm going to fall out. It's very tight. It's holding everything up and in, which is nice. So the top, even though it is a little bit small, I will still get lots of wear out of this. And I do really like it. It is giving me kind of like mermaid vibes, just the way the cups are separated and their shape. It's really giving me like mermaid bra vibes, which I like. The next set, I hope I pronounce this right, but it's the Sidera set. Also in black, also in a size small. All right, so for the Sidera set, this one, the top is a lot different than the Isabel. It is a square neckline and just a straight across almost bandeau like top. It has nice thick straps, which are great. The straps are not adjustable though in this one, but the cup pads can be removed, which is really nice. And then the back doesn't have any kind of clasp, so this one is quite close to kind of more of like a sports bra, I would say, just without the clasps. But I always love a square neckline, so I'm actually really excited about this one. And then for the bottoms, like I was saying, if this was too much skin for you, the bottoms are high-waisted. And they offer a lot more coverage front and back compared to the Isabel set. And then it does have the little tie so that you can cinch in your waist and tie it up. So let's go put this on and see how it is. All right, so this is the Sidera set. I already love this top more than the last one. I do like both, but the square neckline just looks so good. I love a square neckline. And I do really like the thick supportive straps. Again, I'm in a size small just because the bottom half would be a size small. So if I could have picked top size and bottom size, I would have went up a size. But it still is 
covering everything that needs to be covered. The slightest bit of under boob maybe depend on which way I'm moving, but I don't feel like I'm going to come out of this top and it still feels very supported, which is really good. For the bottoms, they are very high waisted, which I love. If you don't love your stomach being out, these definitely help hug everything together and in and then also makes everything look good from the side as well. And so these do come with a little tie, which I just wanted to tie up on camera. But you can just like cinch in your waist. And this is going to be a terrible bow, not even a bow, but just the look of that, I really like. And I feel like it just is an extra thing to kind of suck you in and make you feel really secure, especially because swimsuits, usually for most people, they don't feel secure in them. But I really, really like this. The back is very cheeky still. I do have one swimsuit cover, which I'm going to put on over top of this. So next is the Dixie cover-up in the color black, also in a size small. But it is just a little two-piece set. comes with the mesh skirt. And it does have ruching on the side, which is nice. And then also has little sleeves, which I think is so cute. And also very different than a lot of swimwear covers. So we'll put this little skirt on. I feel like this cover-up will be really good for if you're going to like a pool party or a beach party or to Vegas to a pool party there or something. I just feel like this would be the perfect swim cover because there's no top cover so you can just wear whatever top you want and then you get the cute little skirt with the little gloves. So I think if you're someone who does pool parties this is a cover-up you want because it still looks like a little clubbing outfit, but it's a beach cover. All right, so it has like these little sleeves, which I do think are really cute. Different. And then the skirt. So it is just a short little skirt. It has the ruching on the side. You can tie this up if you want. And then the back. Obviously, it's a beach cover, so it is see-through. But I do really like this. I feel like it is just like very fun and very party. All right, you guys, I know it's January. It's winter. Why the heck am I trying swimwear? I love swimwear. It is a weird obsession that I have, but I love sunnies. I love swimwear and I love sweatsuits and I don't think you can ever have too many of either. So a new bathing suit, two new bathing suits being added, and a cute little fun beach cover. I really like this, the skirt, like I was saying, I don't have anything like it and I really feel like I could also go to like a club after. So it's like beach at 12 p.m., club at 12 a.m., let's go. I'm so happy I got to try out the brand Escape. It is a woman owned brand, which I love and always support. And all the pieces are made in Canada, which is also great. And like I read in the very beginning, they do just have a nice little message for all of their customers, which I think is nice that that is the vibe that they want for the company. And I think the second suit, the one I'm in now, is probably my favorite. I just love this square neckline. And I do really like the high-waisted bottoms because they make you just feel really held together and honestly more confident because you don't have to worry about your stomach at all. And it just like almost works as shapewear, kind of sucking it in and putting everything in place. Let me know what swimsuit was your guys' favorite and would you wear this beach cover? Pool party? No? Yes? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much Escape Swimwear for sending me these pieces. I'm so happy I got to try out the brand. And if you guys are curious about Escape Swimwear, definitely go and check out their website, which I will have linked below, as well as all of the details of the pieces that I showed you guys today. I just want to say Happy New Year 2024. I already know it. It's going to be a good year. Lots of fun and exciting things to come this year. And uh, yeah, Happy New Year, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.